Good Wednesday morning, folks. I'm News 18 meteorologist Cameron Hotman with today's edition of your weather vlog. Now today, we're actually looking at a pretty nice one. So far, we've dealt with some light cloud cover, mainly for the southern half of the viewing area. Still seeing some overcast conditions, but things are beginning to clear on up, at least a little bit at this point. It's 10 o'clock right now. Temperature sitting right around 32 degrees here in Lafayette. We're tracking a low pressure system that's going to be moving through the Ohio River Valley northeast throughout the day today. And as it does that, it's going to begin to produce some light cloud cover throughout the viewing area. And that's what we're seeing right now. The cloud cover from yesterday is now gone. This is a separate case. And as that continues to drag further off to the east, we'll see a lot of that cloud cover begin to dissipate. Now, as you step out the door this morning, you may have noticed that light haze in the air. That is because humidity is relatively high at this point. Still seeing a lot of lower atmospheric moisture. And we did see the frost on the, the, the cars this morning. I'm sure you needed your scraper this morning if the car was left outside last night. Visibility, actually still a little bit hazy out there. We're down to six miles here in Lafayette right now and other parts of the viewing area less than that. But any fog really that we dealt with this morning, now no longer a problem as that sun continues to rise and burn off a lot of the uh, lower atmospheric moisture. Humidity actually got up to around 92% earlier this morning and since then has now fallen to around 85%. We'll continue to fall throughout the remainder of the day. Temperatures sitting right around 32 degrees right now. But as we get into the afternoon, more sunshine is expected during the late morning, early afternoon hours will be the peak sunshine hours hours before some more light cloud cover begins to move in from the west. But for today, we are going to be seeing temperatures climb up to around 46 degrees before falling to 29 tonight. Now, as the evening rolls around, we're actually going to be seeing a weak frontal system begin to move throughout the region, and that's going to begin to bring a little bit more moisture, a little more cloud cover during the after or late evening hours into the overnight hours. Now, as we get into Valentine's Day, things will actually uh, be a little bit more cloudy. We're going to be seeing overcast skies, temperatures do begin to warm back up, though. We're looking at the mid-40s once again as we get into Thursday afternoon. Valentine's Day, still not too bad considering the temperature, but a little bit gloomy out there. But don't that, let that ruin any of your plans that you have planned for tomorrow and tomorrow evening. Now, as we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it is a different story altogether. We are expecting temps to fall down to 32 degrees for Friday. By Saturday, we're down to 24 degrees with overnight lows nearing the single digits. We'll hit 11 degrees here in Lafayette, but overnight lows easily for the northern half of the viewing area could hit the single digits that night. By Sunday, we begin the bounce back, 27-year high temperature, but I didn't mention was the snow. Uh, we're expecting light snowfall Friday and Saturday. Accumulations right now shouldn't be any more than a dusting, but that's something we'll keep our eyes on here throughout the next couple days. A better chance for precipitation looks like it could arrive by Monday. Actually tracking a low pressure system that brings a warm front along with it, boosting temperatures up to 42 degrees by Monday afternoon. Now as that low drags further off to the east, the cold front was go is going to follow along with that, and that's going to drop temperatures back down to 34 overnight. In fact, that'll be our high temperature for next Tuesday as a lot of that rain begins to turn into a snow and then we're talking about a wintry mix and light snowfall for Tuesday afternoon. That's pretty much all I had today folks. If you have any questions about this forecast feel free to email Chad, Jesse and I at weatherteam18 at WLFI.com. You can always follow us on Twitter as well at weatherteam18. Until tomorrow, I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hopman signing off.